Okay, it's beer o'clock again on the Real Ale Guy. Today's beer is another beer from Left, Left Beer Quinast. I think I pronounced that better than the last time. Um, and it's a bottle of this Hoppus. Nice looking Belgium hoppy beer, this one. ABV is 8.3%. So, depending on where you live in the world, if you live in America watching this, you'd call this a, probably a double IPA. Um, they probably don't call it that in Belgium. It's probably a Belgium strong ale brewed with a lot of hops. Um, the beer was kindly sent to me by BelgiumBeershop.com. Make sure to check them out. If you quote the Real Ale Guide in your order, you'll get a 10% discount. So, so make sure you do. Now what I love about these bottles is just the way they bang open. They really do kind of go... Woo! Look at the smoke there on that. Absolutely great. It actually says on the back to, if you have a look at that there, just quickly, it tells you to serve it in a, in a kind of tulip kind of stem glass. So we have got one here. Again, that classic carbonation from a Belgian beer. Look at that. Three finger of off-white, kind of a whitish, slightly off-white, fluffy head. Nice levels of carbonation. There's a little bit of haze in there. A little bit of haze. I've not cooled the beer down at all, so it's not a hop haze. Bubbles are rising there nicely. This I'm looking forward to what may be my very first hoppy Belgium ale, so let's have a smell. Oh, and it smells. In the nose, it smells almost like a really nice. You know, you get that cough medicine, and you and you you smell it before you uh, you smell the bottle before you taste it. You think because some of them are nasty, but you get a good one. You put your nose into a cough medicine, and it's almost um, sticky and fruity. It smells dry. It's that kind of flavour in the nose. Right, let's dig into this one. Cheers everyone. Mmm. Interesting one this. Really interesting. There's almost that kind of cough medicine taste right on the back end. Um, it is yeasty. Um, probably expecting, me personally, probably expecting with all the hops there on the bottle and the hoppers, that they call the beer hoppers, I was expecting a huge kind of aroma, massive kind of big hoppy citrusy taste but there really isn't none of that kind of big wafting citrusy grapefruity flavours which when I looked at the bottle I thought maybe it could very well be but tasting the beer it would be said that the hops used are very traditional. They may have used a lot of the hops, but they're traditional hops. It is fruity, almost like a, a tart. There's an element of a tartness to the beer. There's that almost Cox's apple kind of sharpness to it. It's bananary. It's spicy. There's a bit of spice in there. It 
maybe a bit of cherry in there it's not bad it's not bad I've just finished reviewing I think this one's bottle conditioned it certainly is let's let's show you the sediment in the in the bottle it's it's yeasty but I've just finished reviewing the the barber and that was a phenomenal beer I may have I may have it's this one's 8.3 percent ABV the barber was 8 percent ABV I probably should have reviewed the hoppers first and the barber the honey beer second um, what I have done is in my mind I've thought this could be a very big hoppy beer leave the hoppy beers to last because you're going to ruin your palate for the other beers so in hindsight probably should have reviewed the hoppers first and then the barber but we've done it the other way around um, it's pleasant you'd never believe in a million years it was 8.3 percent ABV it's not warming at all it's, it's drinking like a 4.5 maybe 5 percent uh, fruity ale so that I mean for me that's that's absolutely spot on that's absolutely great that they can achieve that um, yeah it's it, it, it's just it's, it's, it's a nice beer it's a nice beer it's just for me it's just not it's not a great beer um, okay van de brewer and the work of the brewer I'm trying to find some English for you um, strong bitter and blonde website for the brewery is www.hoppers.be so you'd rather you look at their own web the, 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 the beer's got its own website so it must be popular six generations looks like that they've been brewing I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a final thought and a rating the bar will absolutely knock my socks off uh, this beer it's very pleasant it's very fruity it's very Belgian it's very Belgian it's yeasty it's fruity it's 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 traditionally hopped but then again it's 8.3 percent ABV and it's drinking like a 5 percent beer um, it, for me that's great that's great I'm gonna give it but I'm gonna give it a 7 I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 it just didn't quite blow my mind but still a good beer thanks to BelgianBeershop.com for sending me the beer um, put your comments in the comments box, subscribe if you like, and cheers.